Which cryptocurrencies are poised for success in 2024? To anticipate the future, let's reflect on the past. Today, we're delving into a report that dissects crypto's performance in 2023 and offers insights into 2024. Brace yourself for a bullish outlook on the horizon. The report we're dissecting comes from K33 Research, formerly known as Arcane Crypto. This digital assets brokerage is renowned for providing top-notch industry insights and analysis. While we'll cover the report's highlights in this video, the full document is a worthwhile read. Let's jump right in. The report kicks off on a positive note, labeling 2023 as the year of a healthy recovery. The primary author, Vlair Lund, makes intriguing trend observations. First, he points out that sell pressure remains subdued in 2023, as most individuals needing to sell did so in 2022. During 2023, there was minimal buy and sell pressure, except for a noteworthy group he dubs the fanatics, referring to dollar cost averaging DCA enthusiasts. DCA involves consistently purchasing a fixed amount of an asset at regular intervals, irrespective of its current price. These DCA fanatics tend to accumulate BTC throughout market fluctuations, selling only at all-time highs. Vlir also highlights the growing professionalization of the crypto sector, emphasizing that the Wild West days are behind us. Regulation has exerted its influence, bringing crypto more in line with the law, particularly in the United States. While progress varies across jurisdictions, any step forward is noteworthy. Turning to institutional filings for spot Bitcoin ETFs, the report expresses optimism. The costly process of filing for this financial product indicates institutional confidence in the enduring nature of crypto. Notably, BlackRock and other major institutions filing for spot Bitcoin ETFs signal a significant shift and acceptance of crypto's permanence. The report's subsequent pages detail the year's highlights across quarters, providing a fascinating look at the sector's journey. The year commenced with crypto FUD amid a banking crisis in the United States, impacting confidence due to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, both heavily exposed to crypto. Q2 remained challenging with the SEC suing top exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. However, Optimism returned in June when BlackRock filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF, triggering similar applications from various financial institutions. Q3 exhibited sideways market movement, but featured a crucial legal win for Grayscale, challenging the SEC's rejection of its Bitcoin ETF application. This win set the stage for increased optimism, leading to a surge in BTC prices. Q4's headline was Binance's $4.3 billion settlement with the SEC, indicating a tough year for the world's largest crypto exchange. Overall, the year unfolded with challenges, legal battles, and regulatory developments shaping the crypto landscape. All right, rather than diving into the report page by page, we'll explore it thematically. We'll also compare K33's predictions with those made earlier this year by Vanek, a US-based investment management firm. First up, let's talk about BTC. It's been a spectacular year for the OG crypto. If you were fortunate or savvy enough to pick up BTC a year ago, you've done well. BTC has surged 163% year to date, outperforming other asset classes by multiples. The NASDAQ grew by 44%, the S&P 500 by 18%, while gold had more modest gains at 12%. An interesting observation for 2023 is that BTC has significantly detached from its correlation with equities. Unlike 2021 and mid-2022, where there was a notable correlation, in 2023, it dropped towards zero. This makes BTC a more attractive investment for both retail and institutional investors aiming to diversify portfolios. It was also a year of low volatility for BTC, the least volatile since 2016, and its second least volatile year ever. Now, at different points in the report, the authors note two things about BTC. First, a drop in retail participation attributed to broader macro trends, especially the increase in the cost of living due to inflation. Second, despite periods of poor performance in a bear market, some investors, notably MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor, continue to dollar cost average into BTC, 
crucially pushing the price upward. Speaking of MicroStrategy, they hold 90% of the total BTC held by public crypto companies, with unrealized profits above $2 billion today. Looking ahead, two key dates are important. The SEC's decision on AR21, shares ETF filing by January 10th, and the Bitcoin halving scheduled for April. While the halving's impact on price volatility is expected, predicting the exact price is challenging due to liquidity effects. The authors at K33 are bullish on BTC for the new year, anticipating a peak in January following SEC approval on spot ETFs, a dip, and then a rally throughout the year, reaching new all-time highs by the end of 2024. These predictions align with the consensus among researchers. Now, Vanek expects BTC to break $48K in the days or weeks following the halving. Moving on to ETH and altcoins, in 2023, ETH performed well against the dollar but poorly against BTC. This was influenced by BTC-specific news and Ethereum's shallow on-chain activity, facing competition from Bitcoin due to oracles. ETH's relative downtrend started in September 2022, continued after the Shanghai upgrade in April, and was exacerbated by DeFi's poor performance in 2023. This reduced gas fees and the amount of ETH being burned. Despite futures-based ETH ETFs getting approval, they didn't significantly impact ETH's price. However, looking to 2024, both K33 and Vanek are more optimistic for ETH. K33 anticipates ETH ETF filings by BlackRock and others to be rejected, but predicts a rally against BTC as May approaches. Vanek is similarly positive, expecting ETH to perform well against BTC after the April halving. Okay, let's shift our focus to altcoins. The standout performer of 2023 was undoubtedly Solana. Its speed, scalability, and lower transaction costs have propelled it as a strong competitor to Ethereum, experiencing over 550% year-on-year growth. This surge, however, is partly due to Solana being undervalued after FTX's collapse in 2022, creating bearish sentiment around Sol. Despite its massive growth, Solana is still at a 74% drawdown from its past all-time high, suggesting potential for more growth. While K33 doesn't provide predictions for Solana in the new year, Vanek is notably bullish. They anticipate Solana becoming a top three crypto by market cap, total value locked, and active users. The expectation includes major institutions applying for spot Sol ETFs. Apart from Sol, the only major altcoin to outperform BTC was Chainlink, Link. Boasting a 178% year-on-year growth compared to BTC's 162%, Link's success is attributed to the real-world asset narrative. An honorable mention goes to Avalanche, AVAX, whose AVAX coin slightly underperformed BTC in terms of year-on-year -year growth. Now, let's discuss stablecoins. In Q1, Circle, the company behind USDC faced uncertainty as concerns rose about its $3 billion deposit stuck at Silicon Valley Bank. While USDC briefly lost its peg with the dollar, it managed to recover. However, 2023 wasn't smooth for stablecoins, with outflows from USDC totaling around $20 billion. Tether, USDT, emerged as the big winner, with its supply increasing by $22.5 billion over the year. Tether's impressive revenue model, assuming a yield of around 6% on U.S. Treasuries backing its supply, could result in an astounding $5 billion a year. Looking ahead, the authors anticipate that the CME might lose its top spot in 2024 after the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs, leading to increased competition from other exchanges and platforms. Now, to sum it all up, a key takeaway from 2023 is the growing influence of institutions on crypto prices, especially for BTC. While many expect a spot Bitcoin ETF to be a sure thing, few discuss the potential consequences if these applications face rejection. It could shake up the crypto market, prompting a shift of US crypto companies to more welcoming regulatory environments. The second takeaway is the evident impact of regulators, particularly in the US. As we step into 2024, 
the EU's MICA regulations are set to come into force. Unifying crypto regulation across member states and reducing red tape for companies operating in multiple EU countries. And lastly, while indicators point towards a bullish trend for 2024, it's crucial not to get swept up in the hype. If you're diving into trading, remember the fundamentals, conduct thorough research, manage risk wisely, and follow a strategy that includes regular profit taking. From securing your crypto in a hardware wallet to investing only what you can afford to lose, stay grounded in sound principles. That's it for today. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, trade smart and stay informed. Until next time.